ILO 2 discuss the petroleum system, elements and processes. So for the structure, structure traps is actually if the trapping is exclusively due to the structure traps and are formed usually by the tectonic forces. So you can see here the anticlinal, right? It is where rocks that are folded and bent outwards. So the hydrocarbons normally will migrate up to the flank of the uh, anticlines and will be traps in the crest. Meanwhile, for the faults, it usually occur where there is movement along a joint or fracture. So it is the offsets of the beds that could result in an impermeable layer being on top of a permeable layer. So normal fault is more efficient in trapping the hydrocarbon because this fault has um, higher permeability pathway. Uh, compared to the reverse faults that makes the hydrocarbon readily to move on the amounts in the higher amounts that will then replace uh, the displacement area in the reservoir rock. So structured traps are easier to find than others but the ore reserves they contained show clearly that generally they are also a bigger uh, traps. So this is the terminology of an anticlinal uh, traps. Okay, I think you know about this, right? It's a, uh, it's a uh, where the normally people, I mean, normally we will define the gas uh, oil contact and the oil water contacts. So closure here is the vertical distance from the highest crest or the highest points to the spill plane or points is actually a level at which they all spill below the trap into the adjacent permeable beds. Okay, GOC here is the distance from the top of the petroleum accumulation right to the lowest point of the oil water contact. Okay, this is the gross pay zone. So while the net pay zone is the commercial productive parts of this interval of the gross pay zones. Okay. So next, the stratigraphy traps is actually if the trapping is exclusively due to the stratigraphic disposition. So how does it occur? Simple, when the rock layer is changing from a good reservoir to non-reservoir due to the change in the rock type, for example, pinch oil, reservoir quality, okay, due to diagenesis or removal, due to irrational unconformity. So, as example, we do have here uh, unconformity that is caused by a period of erosion and deposition. They represent a gap of uh, they actually represent a gap in the geologic record. In, in other words, a period of erosions or non-depositions. So, unconformity actually they can result in the truncated okay, of the permeable reservoir rocks and opaline by 
an impermeable unit of rock. Okay. So the risking of finding the hydrocarbons, okay, uh, by via uh, through the stratigraphic track is actually greater than the structure traps, okay, because oil column that uh, more I mean the oil column that preserved in the unconformity, for example, here is actually more parallel to the bedding plane, okay. So it easily can leak if there was only one small seat belt. Uh, within a low, with a low, I mean, slow, small seat belt, okay, in the uh, impermeable rock with a low displacement pressure. So it will later cause and force the hydrocarbon to move into or pass through the beds, right, as the buoyant force of the oil is actually directed up to it and parallel to the bedding. So another example of such a graphic trap is the salt diapers. It's actually caused by the upward, upward movement of sediments that are less dense than the surrounding or than those of those overlying them. Okay. Okay, then we, we do have the uh, combination traps, okay, uh, it is a uh, trapping is either due to the structure or uh, non stratigraphic or due to stratigraphic depositions alone. So how does it occur? It's uh, normally occur due to, due to the change of rock types, which this commonly happen in stream environment where sand is deposited along the stream channel, which is surrounded by a flood plane that is characterized by finer green sediment. Okay, sometimes it's uh, formed due to a lateral change in environment of deposition in which a lens of permeable sand is surrounded by less permeable sitstone and shale and forming a pinch out traps. So you can see here the reservoir rock of uh, sandstone with the good porosity. Okay, lots of space uh, for petroleum to be preserved within the pores. Well, meanwhile, this one the pores has been cemented, right? So. There's no, I mean, it's uh, obviously, it's really poor in porosity and permeability for petroleum to be accumulated in the pore. summary of the uh, petroleum system okay where does petroleum come from okay so source rock that is rich in organic matter okay has to be the first elements in the petroleum system we have to remember that the source rock has nothing to do with the reservoir rock that contains the oil in the oil field so the rocks the source rock is the rock that 
can generate the oil okay and later migrate the oil and later expel the oil into the carry beds right and that petroleum later will be migrated into the reservoir rock so the source rock can be 10 kilometers away from the uh, oil field okay then the organic matter in the uh, source rock itself will be transformed to the carogen by during the genesis and then later will be compacted into uh, the petroleum by the heat and pressure during catalysis process okay so when the carogens um, Okay, the oil that is less, okay, when the corrosion in the source rock become matured during catalysis process, the oil and gas will undergo primary migration, which is the oil and gas will migrate from the source rock to the carry beds. And later, the migration path will allow the generated petroleum to move to the trap by the secondary migrations. So all that is less dense uh, than water, we will uh, going up through the food system of the surrounding rocks. So the carry beds here is the rock layer that allows uh, fluids to pass through them. If petroleum stay buried, it can become post matured Okay, and then traps such as such traps or faults or anticline will prevent the oil from going up or leak, as well as the sea rock that will keep the petroleum below the ground occur during accumulation process. So at the same time, an adequate reservoir beds from which the petroleum can be extracted will preserve this accumulation with the help of sea rock and cap rock. Okay, so to make this perfect uh, process in relation to the elements uh, for an accumulation, there must be a proper timing of event from the generations until preservation.